Welcome to another battle commentary of Napoleon Total War, this time on Sunken Jungle. Due to its overall composition, the map is more or less balanced and different kinds of uh, tactics are common here. Um, often people compete uh, on position 1 for this forest here. It's a bit in favor of the defender side because this uh, rock formation does not allow the attacker from from here to deploy his infantry as he wants while the um, defender has this spot here this uh, forest um, where he can especially deploy light infantry in block formation and um, flank the attacker's infantry and make a lot of damage within short time. Um, we see France against Russia here. Uh, that's uh, a common thing that people play shooter cuff when they want to contest uh, this forest. Mm, you don't want to have a grand cavalry disadvantage, uh, otherwise you're in risk to not get into this forest. So that's why uh, we normally have uh, shooter cuff nations here, or at least uh, yeah, not a grand um, difference in cavalry, uh, cavalry uh, strength. Um, the position 2 uh, is also in favor of the defender. It's rather defensive uh, for the def defender side. Um, uh, there is uh, one big forest here and um, it's possible from attacker side to actually um, like attack this forest right in the beginning. So um, you never know what the attackers will be doing. Mm, in this case, they obviously did not expect us to uh, attack this forest in the beginning because Theodore, in this case, uh, who plays France here, uh, does not have any troops in the middle um, and has uh, so he has all his troops concentrated on position one uh, on the far flank. Here is a grand gap between him and the middle player. Um, so if uh, Russia had a lot of troops in the middle here and rushed this forest, they'd have a problem because uh, of this, because of this uh, rock formation, uh, France could not support the middle uh, that quickly. But uh, yeah, Russia goes for this forest. Um, in this case, uh, we have uh, the contest for position one. Um, over here, this forest uh, is rather on the attacker side. So, um, yeah, this is a bit in favor of the attacker side uh, here and here as well. Mm, but uh, it's the the defender side uh, position three still has good positions with this forest and uh, this uh, forest as well where he can send troops to this flank yeah so for the players uh, we have the former admins of unity uh, so this is uh, the attacker team. Um, as Russia we have Lancer um, who still is uh, admin of Unity. We have uh, Atos here in the middle as Prussia and me with France on position 3. Um, on the other side we have a coalition out of uh, players of different clans um, on this side we, uh, on position 1. As I already mentioned we have uh, Theodore um, at this point also member of unity. Um, in the middle we have Philippil, uh, admin of the insect group and here we have uh, Dion as Ottoman Empire, uh, admin 
of uh, for Ninth Legion and uh, the Shadow Ravens. So, yeah, our plan obviously uh, was to hold the middle to not attack uh, in the at the beginning um, on this forest, uh, but later on and uh, play for position one here and um, position three. This is a heat map, uh, so uh, the Ottoman troops, because of their heat resistance, have an advantage uh, because they recover faster than the other nation's uh, troops. I split my army in uh, two groups. Uh, I play my standard build mm, with six cavalry. So I uh, deleted the sixth regiment uh, d'infanterie légère and um, bought one more cavalry, one more chasseur cheval for it because I'm playing against the Ottomans. So I probably don't need that much light infantry, but uh, a bit more cavalry because, uh, yeah, the Ottomans, uh, I, I n n not only need cavalry to fight the Ottoman cavalry, but also to f uh, I need to fight the uh, swords, probably. And yeah, he has uh, swords, but only one. One came at Janissaries. Um, they are pretty strong in melee and even uh, can even make a lot of damage on my old guards. But uh, yeah, usually they are leveled up uh, three times. He decided to um, level them up only twice. The problem of uh, two upgrades compared to three is that the third uh, upgrade always gives a one more moral point, which is very valuable. Um, the second does not, uh, uh, well, give them that much of an advantage. Uh, so normally they are leveled up three times. He probably had did not have enough uh, money anymore to uh, to do so. Um, yeah, we have uh, f uh, some light infantry as well for for the Ottomans and um, one, two, three, four, five shooter cuff and one Sipai cavalry and uh, Ahmed al uh, For Britain, we have a standard build with uh, a lot of uh, lines and two, uh, two cavalry units, one dragoon and one uh, light dragoon. For f uh, Theodore with France, um, we have a seven cavalry all of them are Chasseur Cheval, I think. Yeah, and for Lancer with Russia, we have uh, four mounted rifles and two light infantry with the 17th uh, Re Jaeger Regiment, uh, one lifeguard, another lifeguard, another lifeguard. Yeah, four lifeguards and the Seminovsky lifeguards of so uh, all five guards Russia can bring. So a very elite build Lancer decided for. Uh, and also the Moscow Musketeers here in the middle. That's, um, yeah, interesting. Um, so he has not that many troops, but a very elite composition. Uh, Theodore brought... Uh, Old Guards, Polish, Swiss, the 18th uh, uh, Regiment of Entrée, and two Voltigeurs, and the 6th Regiment of Entrée Légère. Uh, so, yeah, he deployed, he separated his cavalry from his infantry. He did not run through his infantry. That's why he has all his cavalry fast up here. Um, well, Lancer ran uh, with his cavalry through the infantry. That's why many riders uh, are still stuck here in the infantry. So nice um, uh, micro by Theodore. Um, 
Atos played a uh, Prussian build with uh, three guards. Uh, one of them are uh, the, the is the eighth light life regiment. That's also a, a good guard unit and three cavalry. Yeah. So uh, one more thing about uh, moving up the hill, uh, as uh, you can see at the uh, regarding Theodore's um, deployment, uh, he deployed uh, like this to not move through the forest because they slow him down. So he uh, deployed all troops here in the open. Um, this does not only uh, is uh, it's very good because it doesn't tire your troops that much uh, and uh, they are as fast as possible um, arriving on the position where they uh, want to go. Um, I don't have this uh, possibility here uh, because there are forests everywhere but uh, I separated my army in two groups because uh, of this rock formation here in the middle. Um, so, uh, yeah, one part of the army I, I wanted to send here to probably compete uh, uh, with Dion in this forest and the other one uh, taking this forest. But obviously uh, Dion decided to only go into the middle and not play on this flank. So uh, I will change my um, direction soon. There is not only this gap between uh, Theodore and Philly, which is not uh, very bad for them because uh, we are not going for this forest in, uh, on defender's side in the beginning. Uh, but there is also a gap uh, between Philly and Dion. So there are no troops uh, in this... Uh, um, open terrain here and this is a problem for them since uh, Atos has troops uh, between him and me and Dion since he has all his troops concentrated here uh, decides for an attack on my uh, <laughs> yeah, a weaker uh, garrison which is not even here yet um, since uh, the other part of my army is uh, on the other side. So he has an advantage uh, at the moment and could overrun possibly my uh, uh, my smaller part of the army. The, pr the only problem is Atos has troops here as well and uh, this uh, yeah uh, kind of denies him to uh, get a uh, quick uh, to, to take this uh, forest quickly on the other side uh, both of them arrived with their cavalry as you saw they shot once and retreated the cavalry again um, so both of them arrived with their infantry in this forest now the uh, Theodore deployed his uh, sixth regiment uh, where I uh, described it uh, earlier and uh, both of them are double lining their uh, infantry since all of their forces more or less are concentrated in this area. Uh, uh, Theodore threw in his old guards uh, pretty early against the lifeguards of foot. Uh, both of them double line their guards. That's something I not do to be honest. Uh, it's a bit risky to uh, for France uh, against this elite build to uh, throw in the old guards that early. You see that the one already dropped to 56 against the lifeguards since there are many lifeguards here. Uh, yeah, that went a bit unlucky for uh, Theodore. Um, we have the British and the uh, Prussian light infantry uh, guarding this uh, open area here and uh, Dion um, 
saw that uh, he has no chance of uh, competing this uh, forest so f uh, at at the beginning now because of this uh, these Prussian uh, troops down here and retreated all his troops. I have one cavalry in the ranks of the uh, infantry uh, of the Ottomans and also I charged the British light foot over here. They suffered only some casualties but uh, the infantry and the light infantry of uh, Dion suffered some more. Uh, Dion r decided to retreat not only from this forest but like completely from the position uh, so he ran all his troops up here and then retreated again that's why his uh, his troops are uh, a bit um, tired at least those uh, which ran the longest way mm. and uh, yeah I will not uh, directly attack this uh, forest where he has all troops so I uh, sent uh, parts of my army on to the flank um, it's very nice for me that uh, he retreated from this position so I can uh, send troops in here without uh, being shot and uh, line up with my flank units here to threaten his uh, his uh, right flank Athos and Philibill both as, uh, are on the way to send uh, units to help position 1 Theodore played much more cavalry, 3 more cavalry than Lancer did so uh, he is uh, not outnumbered uh, but outclassed in infantry since uh, Lancer had a lot of elites and uh, he has to send uh, cavalry after cavalry to uh, deny Russia from shooting um, and I begin my attack on the other side. I sent my Voltiges here to uh, kill the, to shoot at the um, light infantry of the Ottomans, which is not in light formation. Uh, so I saw the opportunity to get uh, to take them out of the game. And I also sent my Polish legion uh, to, uh, to uh, indeed attack the uh, this forest now because he was standing deep in the forest and not uh, here um, in, on this position where he could uh, shoot me uh, as soon as I start running out of my forest uh, so I took the opportunity here I'm uh, the, the Tara is uh, in favor of, uh, of me when he's standing too deep in here and also he I uh, also I attacked on this flank. Um, he is fighting uphill. That's uh, nice for me. I gave an attack order on the uh, shooter cuff, uh, but he retreated them, and I tried to bring chaos uh, to his lines with my lances and go closer here, since I'm still behind the edge of the hill I'm bringing my general to the flank to uh, motivate my old guard since they have a, a, an excellent position and I want to uh, make more damage in uh, yeah in uh, as long as they have this good position my lenses are still alive and he brings uh, reinforcements now to his flank with the swords and his light infantry uh, is holding the middle but uh, 
they are behind the uh, this ridge uh, slightly so they can't hit very much uh, on my Swiss but I will send my uh, voltigeurs here in the middle at the uh, this is in theory a very good position problem uh, problematic uh, thing is that uh, this village uh, does not allow uh, the deployment of troops as you want you see that uh, they are bugging around a little uh, because they can't hold they can't walk through the village um, as the, in in their formation so that's a problem and I don't have stakes here and here has a lot of cavalry you I guess you know what happens soon um, he retreated even more with his uh, infantry and uh, let me take the position with my Polish legions and uh, so I can also um, fight downhill uh, or over here so that's good for me on the other side uh, yeah there is still French cavalry in the ranks of uh, our lines uh, they charge the Prussian fusiliers. The musketeers are also around to uh, back up Russia. The, uh, the musketeers charged the sixth regiment. Um, where is it? Oh. Sorry, I think I missed that. But uh, he they charged the uh, Swiss foot, and you see that. Uh, only after a couple of minutes uh, this uh, this guard force of Russia made huge damage on the French regulars and um, there is not much uh, left of uh, Theodore uh, and Philip already takes over uh, with Conrad Rangers, foot infantry and light foot um over here he tries to stop my uh 18th region motor of the linear from shooting at my old guard and uh i try to kill his cavalry but with my cavalry my swiss foot uh did not suffer many casualties um they are have a very good position this uh, line infantry uh, is shooting I think uh, this 18th regiment and not the Swiss foot because I ran into range with the 18th regiment earlier uh, and this is very good for me because I can destroy them quickly uh, without getting shot I had to retreat my voltages over here beca um, because they suffered too many casualties I should have deployed some stakes or at least tried to do so. He brings his uh, Kima Janissaries all over to the flank where I also retreated my Polish legion because I uh, suffered many casualties here too. He did the same but has one healthy line here still and I have troops in the middle against uh, guarding uh, Philippe's forces over here. Philip got some sneaky shots off with his light infantry on the Prussian musketeers here in the middle. Nice, uh, well done. <laughs> um, oh, that's a lucky shot. Uh, obviously, Theodor's general got uh, killed. He's st the general staff still has 12 men, so that's... Uh, yeah kind of lucky for, for our team but yeah uh, Theodore is almost out of units and uh, Lancer does not have high numbers anymore but uh, some of his troops at least this uh, uh, Moscow Musketeer unit and the Seminovsky lifeguard are still around with um, high numbers um, and yeah you see uh, more and more British troops taking over to st uh, stop uh, our team from getting this forest. 
over here uh, I destroyed the small lines now and but there is a reinforcement line um, which came over here the mounted rifles tried to shoot uh, fr uh, from as a second line on my Swiss foot but unfortunately they are behind the hill and mainly hit their uh, teammates here in the back so the terrain is a bit tricky here uh, my chasseur cheval tried to hunt down the the Ottoman cavalry and my old guard is still uh, around with 87 with one upgrade already because they did a lot of damage. I again uh, moved up with my uh, Polish and I, but I moved too close with my ol second old guard in here and got charged by the Kamachani series of Dion. Uh, I already suffered almost 30 casualties on my old guard. That's very bad. I don't want to fight uh, the Kimachini series in melee, so I tried to get out my old guard here. Um, lucky for me, the uh, Ottoman general is far away uh, and does not uh, boost the moral of the Kimachini series, which uh, don't have. Um, a good moral because of the moral penalty um, of the old guard and uh, no guards or guard units like Stilata guard um, being around fr from uh, the on side so they will yeah they are out of the game with 47 um, he tries to uh, make a counter charge with his cavalry but uh, only has one infantry which is down to 36 already uh, so I and one another with 26 so uh, no grand firepower anymore mm. over here obviously Atos took uh, uh, over um, from the Russians the Russians uh, charged the British foot in melee because otherwise the small Russian units will be destroyed within seconds uh, from uh, by the, the by the uh, very good um, British infantry. But the British dragoons charge the back of the uh, Russians, so the small units are out here and only the Seminovsky lifeguard is uh, still uh, holding the position. The Coldstream guards moves in now and uh, now uh, we actually uh, thought that we have this position but Philly has so many troops here that uh, uh, with, with such a grand firepower that uh, Artus is outnumbered or at least outclassed. He has only one guard unit here and Philly has um, better troops and uh, more numbers and the Siminovsky lifeguard is uh, decent but not that great in shooting uh, so they don't make such a great difference to the British uh, uh, foot infantry and Theodore, uh, Theodore Swissfoot came back and he tries to support uh, Philip here so we are in danger to lose this uh, forest again. Over here, I surrounded Dion's uh, forces in this uh, in this forest, and uh, yeah, finished his uh, last uh, finished off his last troops. And I'm preparing to uh, yeah, I was trying to double team. Uh, the light uh, foot of Britain with together with Prussian fusiliers of Athos, but uh, Philippe uh, saw that he is outgunned and um, uh, retreated his forces to the middle forest. He does not want to uh, fight uh, over here as long as he has so many troops and forces um, uh, which try to take back this forest which he managed to do he even um, managed to save his uh, dragoons which uh, fought off the Russians um, they are 15 in the number and finally they managed to um, take position one so uh, well done by them 
as I said, uh, he still holds the uh, defensive uh, posi uh, forest here in the middle. Atos decided to retreat uh, uh, from position one since he was uh, outgunned here and uh, wait for my troops to arrive uh, so we can attack on the other side together where we have an advantage. Lancer only has uh, the Semenovsky lifeguard and his general left. And I'm preparing my uh, line infantry and my chasseur cheval and another chasseur cheval here um, to uh, start a combined attack against uh, Philippe's forest. And uh, as soon as my troops are in position, we plan to uh, sandwich these troops uh, between our forces here. Mm. You see uh, Atos uh, movement orders and mine. I still have uh, my small flank old guard. Oh no, I just still have both old guards. This is the middle one, sorry. Uh, Felibil sees that he is getting sandwiched uh, and retreats his troops uh, from this dangerous position uh, to stop uh, getting sandwiched, obviously. Um, the terrain in this forest uh, is very interesting. It um, It's more important to control the upper part of this forest than the lower part uh, because you can still do you still have a good position uh, when you deploy here because you are shooting downhill and have a good line of sight down there but if you lose the upper part uh, then you ha you're in uh, you have great problems. Um, Atos uh, pushes uh, over here as well, so uh, he can't commit that uh, many forces. I mean, Felipe can't com commit that many forces uh, in uh, to uh, his counterattack here in the middle. Mm. And we are in the lower part here of the forest, my uh, Polish and old guards uh, are threatening Philippe's uh, rear here and we are um, yeah, trying to uh, circle Philippe's forces. He has a good position with his King's German Legion Lightfoot, uh, which only has 23 men, but uh, they um, fought on a uh, high distance against the Prussian Fusilier of 65, that's why they held so long, But Atos, uh, and they are in the forest, of course, so that's the main reason, um, but now Atos moved closer and... Yeah. Hmm. Okay, maybe not. Uh, Philip Bill sends his uh, light infantry over here to shoot the uh, Prussian guard infantry. That's uh, a nice move. They are not getting shot at from the guard and are pretty, uh, um, yeah, have a pretty good line of sight here. So they are doing a lot of damage. But I uh, took out my forces, Atos has so many troops here, so I can't deploy there as well. So I moved all my troops behind uh, Philippe. And also my cavalry uh, is in the back, and uh, is in the back of position one. And uh, we are doing a combined attack uh, on this position one forest again. Uh, 
the Siminovsky lifeguard charges in melee against the British line infantry and I bring chaos to the British uh, foot guards so Arthur's guards, the 8th life regiment and the foot guards uh, were able to move in again I'm shooting with my Voltigeurs and I took out the British foot infantry Lancer charged his uh, general staff into the British lines and he died probably he got shot by our uh, troops or he was just unlucky to die in melee um, yeah and we took out the British garrison on position 1 the Coldstream guards are still around with 88 they uh, were firing at the musketeers of uh, Prussia uh, that's a fight uh, Prussia will lose within a uh, very short time so and since this was the only unit in here uh, in the center uh, Atos took it out again and the Coldstream guards went over here to fight uh, my units which were in his back but uh, we have such uh, numerical uh, superiority now that uh, the moral uh, breaks of the British uh, British troops the general also died and only the Coldstream guards and the other foot guard unit are holding their ground my small chasseur will charge the back of the Coldstream guards and this was the game um, yeah nice that they retook this uh, forest um, but uh, yeah they uh, suffered a lot of casualties same did we in this forest uh, I think it was a grand mistake uh, to retreat uh, from position 3 downhill and fight uphill all this time um, and yeah the Ottomans are a, a very good nation of course on this uh, uh, on this map and overall they are a good nation but uh, rather aggressive um, so uh, you either need to attack or support uh, your teammates with your cavalry, for example. Um, but since the fight was going on, like on the far, far other flank, uh, this would have been a long way for the Ottoman cavalry to run. Um, my oh, my Swiss foot in this forest on the flank killed the most, uh, with only forty-nine casualties. Uh, that's interesting yeah this um, uh, opposing line uh, which I showed you did not shoot them uh, so that's probably the reason uh, the old guards did decent the 18th regiment of Fontier de Ligne uh, is always a good unit and yeah the chasseurs uh, uh, were chasing um, the uh, small units in the end here uh, from Philippe and yeah my, that was my reserve unit this one as well so um, this was the game always uh, well I, I think that's uh, it's all we always have good games in Sunken Jungle um, so a very nice map um, yeah the next game I think will be <laughs> on Italian grassland since it's uh, the most common map uh, in the multiplayer scene or at least the most popular so have a good time and see you